out on allotting $2,500 for the effort, providing the pending paperwork is before the council and filled out properly on Wednesday night, which it has been, correct? Yeah. All right. Awesome. Officer. Great. Uh, good evening, uh, board members, members of the community. Thank you for uh, allowing me to speak here as a co-captain of Baker to Vegas. Baker to Vegas, again, just to uh, reiterate, has been, uh, uh, in a, I guess, an event that has been held since 1985 where law enforcement agents <coughs> were from. Uh, it started off with 19 teams uh, within the community of, you know, within California. Uh, and now it's expanded to the point where there's 269 teams from across the world, uh, everything from Australia, United Kingdom, there's the country of Belize participating this year. And it's all law enforcement agencies. So the, the whole point of this is it promotes uh, well-being, uh, health, uh, it, it establishes camaraderie uh, between uh, law enforcement agencies. In, in particular, um, I'm out here representing the Van Nuys uh, running team. So it, it creates this bond uh, in the team. Um, it allows the team members to uh, become physically fit. Thus, uh, that's translated into better job. More uh, physically fit officers that uh, serve here within the uh, your your district, your Van Nuys, the community of Van Nuys. Um, I can speak uh, from a personal note. So I suffered a back injury. Uh, so I went from a very active role to a back injury, uh, being at home, uh, lethargic for three months. Um, it is one of the, the, the worst things that, that can happen to an individual. Um, going from being you know, physically able to do things to, to nothing. So I I, I'm getting back. Uh, and uh, running this team, uh, it's logistically, uh, it's very difficult. So fundraising, it, it, this is not supported by, by the city, nothing. This is all fundraising efforts from law enforcement. Uh, from, in, in particular from Van Nuys Station officers. So we've held all sorts of fundraising to, in order to uh, create uh, the, uh, running, the uh, running jacket uh, that, that we're gonna go ahead and give out to our 60 members on the running team. Okay, the money will be going towards the jacket and again you have yes. agreed to put the Van Nuys Neighborhood Council Van logo. Nuys, exactly, so the entire team and the entire Van Nuys community will know that this was uh, supported Sponsored by- Sponsored by us, and, yay. Uh, so they cost $2,500? No, that's, explain what it's for. Yeah. It, it, it would go to, obviously, uh, purchasing the, the item. Uh, we, we do the shopping wholesale in order to promote, uh, to, to get the, the quantity. It's 60 members on the team, on the running team right now. Um, and it, it's also going to be given to all the support, support staff on, on the team. May I add a few things you're yes. forgetting? Okay, it's also supposed to go for their food, for their gas to drive there, for their lodging while they stay because it's a two day event, the 18th and the 19th, <laughs> and for water, et cetera, et cetera. So some of those things like the water, some of the other teams provide, but not always. So it's a, it's a variety of things it covers in addition to what he's talking about. Comes out to $41 per person. Yeah. Not a great deal of money. No. Candido. Thank you, Mr. Vice President, for recognizing me. First of all, I do support this fund. I just want to apologize to you because you were told to show up here and ask for the funds. The community, members of this board, and maybe others should have been helpful in helping raise the funds. Thank you. 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 Going to be representing the Van Nuys community, but I hope that next year that you'll work with the community. Let us raise that funds for you. Folks do a lot of good things for us here in Van Nuys, but we want to be part of that process, not having <coughs> you come in here and then ask for the money. That's not your job. Your job is to protect your children, not to come in and ask for money. So hopefully next year we'll be able to work with you to raise those funds. But Great. That won't come out of the neighborhood. Awesome. I appreciate the comments, and that's the ultimate goal of the of the police department to be partners with the community. So absolutely. Yes. Any Thank questions you. on the council? Move to approve. <coughs> okay, so moved. Call for the vote. Wait, who okay. No one seconded. Seconded. Call. Seconded by how uh, by um, Paul and who? I moved. Charles moved it. Mr. Robbins. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So 
Hold on. Rereading the Van Nuys Neighborhood Council to support the Mid Valley Community Police Council and the Van Nuys LAPD station to help fund the Baker to Vegas run, the VNNC to vote on allocating $2,500 for the effort, uh, providing uh, the pending paperwork has been, uh, uh, has been provided to the council, uh, filled out properly prior to Wednesday night, which it has been. So um, seconded, uh, I call for the vote. Okay. Uh, he's not here. Mr. Benjamin? Yes. Myself? Yes. Ms. Raines? Yes. Mr. Ackerman? Sure. <laughs> Mr. Anon? Yes. Mr. Camara? Yes. Mr. De La Cuesta? Yes. Mr. Friedman? Yes. Ms. Havard? Yes. Mr. Hendry? Yes. Uh, Mr. Lynn? Yes. Mm, Ms. Nope, she can't do that. Mr. Knoll? Yes. Mr. Robbins? Yes. Uh, passes. Okay. Congrats. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank you very much. much. Uh, Marabi had to recuse as well as Myers and uh, Thomas. Yeah, we are. But. Um, Austin, will you open the door and tell them to come back in? All right, so we'll move back on to. He is David. D. We'll wait for John. We'll wait. We'll wait for George. Did Camby leave? I don't know. Did Camby leave? I didn't see him out there. Uh oh. Then he's gone. All right, so we're on D. All right. <coughs> Pass the gavel. All righty. Okay, let's see. Before we jump to 8D, I want to bring uh, Rosemary Jenkins up. It's uh, getting Sorry. past her bedtime. Um, she, uh, months and months ago, had something on the agenda for earned uh, paid sick leave. I just want you to speak on that. I know we were going to kick it to committee. Um, and uh, then bring it back. So if you could brief us, and then we'll put it through the executive committee next month. Um, so uh, just real quick, give us a briefing on earned paid sick leave, and we'll have the council act on this uh, next month. Okay, uh, thank you for giving me the time to do this. Uh, as George said, I first introduced this in the fall of last year, and it kind of got kicked to committees and, and fell through the cracks a little bit. But I'm glad I'm having the opportunity to bring it up again. Um, we all know that uh, there's been a um, motions at various levels and laws passed to raise the wage. And LA City Council, LA uh, County Supervisors have done that. Uh, the state has passed uh, not a similar law uh, as we have here in LA and, and uh, the county. Uh, but going arm in arm with that is earned paid sick leave. And the state right now has it so that if you're a temporary worker, part-time, full-time, uh, whatever category of worker you are, you are entitled to three earned paid sick days a year and it can roll over at least one year. So if you don't use it one year, you could get up to six. Uh, we know that health and safety is a big concern for all of us. If you have to work as a parent and your child is going to school sick and you can't take the time off to take care of your child, that child is going to communicate illness to other children. If you're sick and you can't get the time off, you're going to communicate that illness to others. And think of, I mean, every job you're, uh, uh, involved with other people, but certainly there are some jobs more so than others. If you work in a supermarket, if you work in a department store, and you're constantly, uh, especially in markets, you're touching food, you're breathing on food, uh, you know, you try to not cough into your hand, you cough into your shoulder, but at some point you can pass contagion on. So uh, a lot of people have uh, been very sick. If they do take the time off, often they've been fired 
or they have been uh, retaliated <coughs> against by having hours cut uh, or having <coughs> schedules set up so that, for instance, We're uh, at two minutes. if they, if they uh, want to take classes or they need part-time babysitting, whatever it is, uh, it, part of the retaliation could be not setting up a regular schedule for them. So there are lots of things involved, and we can all put it under the umbrella of health and safety for the broader community. And statistics have shown, and this is very important, that it does not have overall a negative impact on businesses large and small. So I, and one can research that. But statistics, there have been studies that show that. You can Google it or however else you want to do the research. Okay. So how would you want to handle this? You want to submit some language that we can vote on? Uh, well, actually, for, did. So uh, just uh, uh, resurrect that language, find the language. Find the language. Or if you can find it again, Rosemary, and just shoot it over. OK. Did we and all right. What we'll do is we'll uh, just put it through the executive committee. Um, and then vote Before on it. For the next meeting? Absolutely. Yes, okay. yes. it'll be, for, it'll be we'll voted on. on it April. Yes. All right. Is this time to answer any questions? Does anybody have any questions, Paul, uh, on earned sick leave? I know uh, well, you were one of the uh, people opposing it last time, and Rosemary brought it up. Well, I think I, I, think I was making my point pretty clear uh, previously that the federal level, our Affordable Care Act, has already implemented this sick leave. It's already in the works, as you said, rolls over. You can have six days of sick leave. Uh, I don't see what the, the advantage of, of currently enhancing that or making it so much longer. Right now what happens is, hey, I work at a place and I can't make my shift. I call someone else and say, hey, can you take over my shift and I'll take over your shift at a different time. So we already have mechanisms. It's not like people, people who work in businesses don't, they have to be flexible. It's not like they're like, hey, let me go ahead and have somebody who's communicating disease come here so that the uh, public health office can come in and shut me down. But if well, I, certainly I that's not well, going to be an event. Respond to that. You're a small business. Mm. What about the Walmarts and El Supers? And there are a lot of other uh, companies that are much larger. Maybe in your particular uh, enterprise, You've worked it out so that you can uh, juggle a little bit. Well, of course, but they the juggle. In a larger enterprise, you can juggle not. easier because you have more people. Up in the San Francisco area, they're already talking about for small business five days a year, and for big businesses nine days a year. Uh, there are other places in the country that uh, have already begun similar uh, programs in terms of numbers. Excuse me. Of, of and we're already creating inflation by doing this as well. If you look at the cost of things, they're inflating out of control while the economy is going through some serious burping from what's happening overseas. Wait, I don't know you're if talking about a, a stock market that has tripled in the last seven years? Okay, hold, excuse me. You no, know, you're talking about a stock market. I'm talking about $25 sure. loaf bread. $25 um, for a loaf of bread here in America? We're almost Would five be. minutes on a non-agendized item. Yes, that's true. So uh, what we'll do, give me the language again, Rosemary, and we'll uh, hash it out at the next okay. committee meeting, and then but we'll I have it. Like whatever is said and done to deal with facts. Yes, we, 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 <laughs> strictly the facts. I do have another place I need to go to, so are you're there all good. questions? I think all, good. all good. We'll, we'll discuss this okay. next month. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. All right, so let's start uh, just going down the list here. 8D, the VNNC to support uh, Ms. McCarthy and off-the-wall graffiti by funding 10 electrical boxes being painted along Van Nuys Boulevard. The VNNC will participate in electrical boxes and the painting thereof throughout Los Angeles Council District 6. The funding and monies will be for the paint kit only, not to exceed 2500 Hello, everyone. Uh, first, I'd like to say that uh, Sick La Via was really fun. Uh, I don't know if anyone saw. I did the, uh, the jellyfish yin yang. I was the one painting that. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're doing 10 electrical boxes up and down Van Nuys. And what we're asking for right now is the money for supplies. Um, we're putting together paint kits. And what comes along with that is whatever the artist will need to complete the task. Sometimes it's getting stencils cut, which can cost you know, which costs money or the spray paint itself, you know, we want them to be quality, we want them to be something that really shows good artwork, so we don't want to work cheap to get it done, we want to work with the, 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 the products that we're used to working with, and um, 
I was at the last meeting and it was, you know, you guys agreed that we're in support of it and I'm just asking for that today. And, and to reiterate, they're all, all the, all the artwork is going to be VNNC or it's going to be yeah. Van Nuys centric. Yeah, it's, like it's going to be, it's going to be touching on all the things that, that are of the history of Van Nuys. Yeah. That's our focus for the project. All right, we're going to go Candido and then uh, uh, Man from Encino. Oh yeah, there's there's a there's definitely going to be a theme, there's a theme to it that is based off of all of the things that come along to, with the history of Van Nuys, and we're going to be proposing. All artists have to put together a proposal on the actual printout of the electrical box for approval. Um, and but this is just <coughs> this vote is just so that we can get <laughs> the money to be in to in order to make it actually accomplishable, including anti graffiti paint and other things. Hey, I'll, I'll paint whatever you want me to. All right, Wayne from Encino, then Penny, then right, Jason. Do do <laughs> um, so what, what our nonprofit does is we find guys that are in the streets and we help foster them into a creative, positive atmosphere. And we, we set up safe environments for them to create so they don't have an excuse of I don't have anywhere to do it. We give them that. And so this, these type of projects are what we're trying to bring them in on and teach them on how to speak in front of people, how to give proposals, <coughs> how, to, how to do it legally and have a nice career rather than yeah, being a uh, famous uh, artist on the on-ramp on Fly Oak and the 101, and they come by and they, and they do artwork like every, every <coughs> every so, do you know their name? Do you know what they write? Because I could probably reach out to them. I don't know if I know them personally, but. Okay. Uh, it was uh, Penelope and then Jason. Uh, it's well. It's it's not graffiti paint. It's just spray, it's normal paint. We're like it's we're like graffiti gives it that connotation of its of the vandalism. And this is not. Um, it's it would be spray paint, but we, there is a anti graffiti co mm -hmm. coat that's what I mean. um, that we will yeah. we will apply, and that's part of all those budgets. Like we're gonna get a big bulk of it, but it's separated amongst how much each artist would okay, be using. And the other thing that um, I am concerned about is the maintenance. Maintains those once they're done. Um, if I don't know if you know, but the the uh, six day weight loss. There's a mural of with palm trees and a mm -hmm. boat. Um, it just got tagged, and I spent oh, yeah. three hours today already starting to correct it. So we we monitor, we look after our walls, and if if we do if we do get like hit, as they say, um, we actually try to reach out to the kid that did it and find out why he had the urge to to paint over art. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's part of the paint cost. That's part. That's w within all the supply. Okay. Great. Okay. So first off, I'm very glad to hear the theme has been broadened. Uh, when we were first approached about this, the theme was classic cars, um, and while classic cars are definitely part of the Van Nuys culture, I would like to see a broader understanding of the history of Van Nuys, going all the way back to the indigenous period to have indigenous dwellings or art or something representing that period of time. Also, to me, the greatest car that ever rolled down Van Nuys Boulevard was the Pacific Electric Red Car, and I would really like to see a box dedicated to that. Absolutely. I mean, really, we're op off the wall graffiti at gmail.com. If there's any imagery or anything that you have specifically that you would like to see if we can, we can do part of that theming, we're the more the more images you give us, the easier it is for us to create something because you guys are telling us what what we're look what you're looking for. Um, we just want to we just love to create. Sure. The old Van Nuys Drive-In that is now an elementary nah, scratch that middle school. Yeah. That was there for a zillion years, and yeah. as a kid, I went there all the time, and it's like now you look at it's it's a school. Bob's big boy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and he was very oh, famous. You be happy at look the at school the though. That was on that wall. You know? Yeah, Remember the big tire guy, joint. too? <laughs> to move to approve. So many Without further ado, uh, I, Mr. Robbins made the motion to approve the language in 8D. I'm seconded. A, uh, seconded by Jeffrey Lynn. I call for the vote, Madam Secretary. Oh, no, that's secretary of the history of secretaries. Just three more minutes. Five.
This is 8D. Okay. Mr. Thomas. Yes. Mr. Benjamin. Yes. Myself. Yes. Ms. Raines. Out of the room. Out of the room. Mr. Ackerman. Yes. Mr. Anand. Yes. Mr. Camara. Yes. Mr. De La Cuesta. Yes. Mr. Friedman. Yes. Ms. Havard. Um, just a quick question because sure. I don't have the full um, agenda. How much is this going to be? Twenty-five hundred. Twenty-five hundred. Oh. Yeah, ten, yeah, ten boxes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two fifty each. Yeah, not Mr. to exceed twenty-five hundred. Yes. Mr. Lynn. Yes. And Mr. Robbie's gone. And Ms. Meyer. Yes. Thank you. Mr. Noel. Yes. Mr. Robbins. Yes. Passes. All right, very good. We are going to uh, jump ahead uh, for the sake of Mr. Bill Hopkins uh, and just to be nice. Is, is it possible just to do the, <coughs> the E real just so I don't Oh, is that connected? That's okay, connected. very good. This will be easy. 8E, the VNNC to support yep. the Arts Activation Fund and the Van Nuys Style Project. The VNNC to provide a letter of support to transform Van Nuys through strategic creative projects. The Arts Activation Fund and the Van Nuys Style Project are requesting a letter of support and a community impact statement. I make a motion we adopt the language in 8E as is. Second. So moved. With uh, that, I call for the vote. What, what exactly? Do we have a question? We're Second. good. All right. <coughs> are we going there? I vote yes. <laughs> I'm going to get you for that. <laughs> I'm right, then you're fast and furious, and you're already saying yes. Okay, Mr. Howard, uh, Mr. Benjamin, sorry. Yes. Myself, yes. Ms. Raines. Yes. What is your middle name? Mr. Ackerman. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Nunn. Uh, I don't know exactly what the community impact statement would say here, so I'm going to abstain. Abstain. Okay, Mr. Camara. Yes. Mr. De La Cuesta. Yes. Mr. Friedman. Yes. Ms. Havard. Yes. Mr. Hendry. Yes. Mr. Lynn. Yes. Ms. Meyer. Yes. Mr. Knoll. Yes. Mr. Robbins. Yes. Passes. Thank right, you very, very much. Good. I just want to say uh, Saturday at 4, I'll be at Pacoima City Hall again. I just did Ciclavia, but we're doing Art in Motion with the Great One Aiders. So mm. if you have kids that like dance or art bring them by we'll be there i'll be working on the jellyfish and some other stuff cool nice the jellyfish just for your i i already uh, asked justin boa if he would if he would help and he's he absolutely said he's on board <laughs> uh yeah i, I would mean, be that, talk I about would, the rock star of all rock stars yeah man uh, i would love to i would love for him to, to join up right. with us because we're really trying to let, do let me let stuff. me call him and see that when he's excellent. available yeah absolutely thank you very much you're welcome Cool. All right. So for Mr. Bill Hopkins, uh, we're going to jump to 8P, the VNNC to fund and support the 8th Annual Valley Disaster Preparedness Fair, uh, hosted by Bill Hopkins and numerous neighborhood councils throughout the valley. The VNNC has supported this event in the past and would like to continue uh, being a community leader on this issue, not to exceed 2,500. We can also uh, tweak the language to motion to allocate a neighborhood purposes grant to Southern California Preparedness Foundation for 2500 for the ninth annual Valley Disaster Preparedness Fair to be held on Saturday, October 1st, 2016. Uh, Jeanette, uh, John Camara, uh, Carino, and I were at the last one, and it is a, a splendid, wonderful event. Uh, if you guys have any questions for Mr. Hopkins, shoot away. If not, I'm just going to call for the motion to be voted on. Going once. Going twice. I make a motion that we adopt the language in 8P as is and allocate $2,500 for Mr. Hopkins and the Valley Disaster Preparedness Fair that's being uh, hosted at the same place in Granada Hills. Very good. Uh, um, do I have a second? Qu question. Yes, Mr. Ackerman. How much are other neighborhood councils chipping into this Valley Disaster Preparedness Fair? Yeah, we should do it to the Southern Okay, but well, what's the average donation for other no, not, uh, neighborhood councils? I'm sorry, your question? What is the average donation from other neighborhood councils that are sponsoring this event? Uh, $850. $850. Yeah. So we're spending... So we're offering more than double the average donation by neighbor councils. Triple. triple, more than triple, sorry. 
I wanted to be nice and say double. But we're more than triple. Thanks, Brad. Just does it last time. Could I? Mm -hmm. It's true. Yep. Just to give you an idea, we are, of course, reaching out, as you mentioned earlier, to other community, uh, to businesses, to other, uh, like even the county. But, yeah. Where oh, they have one. They like it. Up at the church? Um, it yeah, was. Star Station 87. Yeah. We're not a hill. Uh, okay. okay. It's been there for years. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Our ninth annual. They let us take over the <coughs> two thirds of their property, then we go on a bunch of runs, and we never see them. <laughs> Just like I've been noticing here. Yeah, they're yeah. never there, yeah. They're never there. Yeah. yeah. But they do love us. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I have the motion on the floor. Did we have a second? We, we did. I seconded. Who's, Very good. I call for the vote. One sec. Where'd she go? She's outside. Yeah. She, okay. I mean, it's a funding vote. Me got, me got. So, yeah, it's a funding vote. Mr. Thomas. Yes. Mr. Benjamin. Yes. I myself. Ms. Raines. She's out of the room. Oh, she's out of the room. Mr. Uh, Ackerman. I'm going to abstain. Abstain. Mr. Nunn. I'm going to abstain as well. $5 million. Mr. Camara. Yes. Mr. De La Cuesta. Yes. Mr. Friedman. Yes. Ms. Avard. Yes. Mr. Hendry. Yes. Mr. Lynn. Yes. Who's uh, he's gone. Ms. Meyer. Yes. Mr. Knoll. Yes. Mr. Robbins. Yes. And may I add one thing that I just kind of whispered to my partner to my right. These amounts might seem large and they are larger than we normally frequently fund for certain issues. The reason for that being um, Dunn suddenly found money they owed us uh, and they've owed us uh, for a long time. It's been about three years. I don't know that they found it. Well, let's put it this way. All of a sudden, we have a lot more money in our account, though, than we had before. How much so do we all of a sudden have? have a party. How much? We have, we have $29,000. What do we think we had? We, had, we thought we had uh, yeah, around 19. Know. I just wanted well, everybody to know. 29 grand that we need to spend like a in, a, in about 10, two months. All right. Yeah, actually, April, we thought May. we had 17,000. Very good. All right, motion passes. Let's, uh, let's uh, get through this. Yes. All right, uh, 8F, the VNNC to work alongside the scopes set forth in the Van Nuys style project and changing the murals, uh, taking this to the proposed business improvement district, local high schools, and business owners. Um, that gentleman, that kind of uh, goes with the other two. I don't know that there needs to be a vote on that. 8G, the VNNC to hear from Craig Edelman, Eddyman, the director of the Delano uh, Recreation Center. Mr. Edelman wanted to be on the VNNC agenda to try and request a grant from the VNNC, um, and he has turned in the application. Is that gentleman in the room? Going once, going twice. All right, we will table that. Up next, 8H, the VNNC to fund $1,000 for the Eyes Across Los Angeles project developed at Civic University and California State University, Los Angeles. The $1,000 will help create an app to file and report community issues and support the development and implementation of a website for oh. Eyes Across Los Angeles app and program. Any questions on this? Is this H? The, we are on 8H. Eight eight. Yeah, what, <laughs> what is the... What's eyes across Los Angeles? Yeah. Um, there was a uh, program that the Cal State University Los Angeles uh, worked alongside the neighborhood councils and Civic uh, U. Um, this is coming out of my group um, that I was assigned to. Stacy and Jason were also uh, graduates of Civic U 2.0. Um, the project we came up with was a uh, app uh, for the phone and then a website. Um, each neighborhood council is going to put uh, this thousand dollars funding on their agenda. Um, we are taking the lead because uh, it was kind of uh, partly my idea mm -hmm. um, to do this and this is an uh, ability to uh, loop government offices in and uh, police and firefighters uh, and file community reports and sometimes you can do them anonymously. So uh, it's really a, a chance to um, 
Is make a citywide neighborhood watch. Yes. And by point of information, George, what? How would this be different from my three one one? That's currently because the uh, it would allow uh, people to uh, contact their elected officials' offices uh, simultaneously. Where if uh, I wanted to loop in Nuri, Adrien, Bob, uh, Jerry Brown, and Barack Obama all at the same time, I could send an email, and that would go to all of them, and then it also allows for you to file police reports um, online through your phone, um, which is not available now. So, And so you, you think $1,000 is enough to write <coughs> software that's going to be able to do all those things, though? Um, all 96 neighborhood councils are going to participate, so we are a 1,000 of uh, 96,000. Okay, now I get it. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, do we have any objections to the language? Um, I make a motion that we adopt the language in 8H as is. Second. With that, I call for the vote. Okay. Mr. Thomas. Yes. Mr. Benjamin. Yes. I say yes. Ms. Reins. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Ackerman. Yes. Thank you. Mr. Anand. Aye. Mr. Camaro. Yes. Mr. De La Cuesta. Yes. Mr. Friedman. Yes. Ms. Havard. Mr. Hendry? Yes. Mr. Lynn? Yes. And Ms. Meyer? Yes. Thank you. Mr. Noel? Yes. And Mr. Robbins? Yes. Passes. Very good. All right. Uh, cruising down the list. Uh, the uh, these three next agenda items are all closely related. Um, we could vote on all three at once. Basically, what happened was when uh, Councilmember Tom LaBonge was termed out, uh, a, a bunch of people ran for the seat, and the person that won was uh, David Rue. If you guys remember correctly, he came and spoke before this council. Um, he uh, is, uh, or he was, a neighborhood council member uh, that got elected to higher office. I love stories like that. And um, <laughs> basically, all of the uh, paperwork that had accumulated for 14 years or 12 years or however long LaBonge was in uh, office uh, disappeared. It got all destroyed. So. Um, when Council Member Rue uh, came in, uh, there was no, um, no, no transition, no help into uh, holding the office, and no prior paperwork. Um, I, dis I discussed it with Howard, and uh, we are definitely not doing that. We are going to give uh, the new administration everything we have. Um, happily in <laughs> bankers in bankers boxes, which Howard's going to paint. Uh, this is yours. Have fun. Uh, I can only imagine what he's going to do with his sharpie. But uh, we want to go on record. I'd like the neighborhood council to go on record, uh, basically saying that this is unacceptable. Um, we worked with Labonge's office uh, quite a bit on some of the summits we did in uh, 2014 and 2015. Um, if you remember correctly. Uh, uh, we did a speed bump thing over here, um, kind of by where Mr. Lynn lives. And all of this institutional knowledge uh, should be passed uh, on to whoever takes office next. And uh, I think it's illegal f to actually destroy all these records because they're, they're public records. Um, to approve. So, uh, yes, uh, I would like to approve 8I, 8J, and 8K all at the same time. Do we have a speaker card? Okay, Wayne from Encino in the purple shirt. You're recognized. It's important in your motion that you should recommend that this matter be turned over to the district attorney's office to prosecute. It has. Tom LaBonge and Carolyn Ramsey. <laughs> Carolyn Ramsey, yes, <laughs> who, she, who, got, who, got her, who got her ass handed to her by t David Rowe. Well, why, let me. He hadn't. He hadn't why, why is yet. why is Mr. VP always threatening me when I talk you, or I anybody mean, else what, talks? <laughs> what 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 I is didn't hear it? Him what say anything? What, he didn't. Because he what, likes what's you. The, what's, what's the what's the friggin' problem? <laughs> the you, you, friggin you know, problem. just you guys. Wayne, stay on time, man. You guys, stay on point, <laughs> and I won't have a problem with you. <laughs> stay so, on point. Subject. I was ar I was arrested November the tenth and jailed for Wayne, that's not on topic, man. Now, 
You giving cops money to go and run and jog and put shit on their, on their jackets, and you're letting a jackal <coughs> like this, how long has this guy been out of office? And nothing's been done to but get these records. Wayne, I think where you're, are we're trying to get something done. The issue is us. Where, where are the records? They were shredded. destroyed. They were shredded. shredded. Destroyed. Gone. So, All right, very good. So Tom LeBond right. filled a bounce house with it for his own personal amusement. So, there it is. Except, except for three boxes because he was going through Nobody, an audit or an attorney see, had it. Nobody, nobody can get away with this we're, we're if you have 30 a government. seconds. But it seems like we don't have a government in this city. And every time you try to mention stuff like this, everybody gets cut off. So you guys really don't have an interest in seeing this guy be prosecuted for this. You just want to make... You just want to make nice. You no, want to come in here. You want to. This sound you, like make nice. You, you want to not make that. nice, Wayne. Read it, these <coughs> things, things it, sir. It, you're not getting to the heart of the matter. It has already been turned over. Five seconds. To the so for adjudication. Four, three, and what? And two, how long has that been going one. on? How Wayne, long you're out of time. Been going on, sir. Sir. <coughs> You, you Donna, you were recognized for you know, two minutes. How, how, how long does this have to go? Wayne, on? you're out of time. You know, and out of order. And, and I get tired of this crap. So, Wayne, we agree. Please, we're, we're trying to do something about this. And, and where's our city attorney? Where's Mr. Fear? Wayne, let Make on Twitter. Point on this. Either you let it go or you leave the room, sir. You either let it go or you leave the room. You've you been know, given two minutes. I, I I want you to do something about it. We're trying, it. Wayne. Please let us vote on it. Yeah. So do something about We're it. We're doing something about it. That's let us it vote. Is. Could you let these people get away with this every day? We concur. Every day. And I'm tired of it, God damn it. Good. The room. Stop swearing. Okay. Anyway, um... I'm happy Donnie, got two minutes. to see this because I hope you do go after and uh, I hope you do pros uh, they do prosecute Tom, uh, Tom LeBonge, a.k.a. Hillary Clinton. Uh, she destroyed oh, no, email. No. Oh, please. <laughs> so anyway, so we do want to see. Anyway, when somebody comes from the city, count city council... What they'd like, they should automatically give, I'm glad to say you're right, they should automatically give all the stuff that's pertinent to the next city councilman so they don't have to start from scratch. So I'm very happy to see that, you, uh, that you're doing this, and I'm glad that you're on the correct side, the side that's transparency. So I'd like to thank the city uh, neighborhood council for... Uh, for doing the right thing, and thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Okay, uh, Miriam. And I know who else I'd like to see in the can. Bill and Hillary, too. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's, just, let's just indict the Come world. We have no no, what about Hitler? About who That's off topic. President, but I know That's totally off topic. Trump. Yay, Trump. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's off topic as well. Okay, your time's up. Uh, can we call we for the vote? Jail uh, please. Committing Miriam. the crimes in this country. We Miriam. can't let them get away Miriam. with We're not this. talking about the... We're not talking about war crimes. We're talking about city council misconduct. I'm talking about war crimes. I'm talking about... We're not talking about the election in November either. We're talking about We're talking stuff we have about control LeBonge's over. We're talking about stuff, okay? LeBonge's stuff is relevant to the emails, but Hillary is done. No, it's not. They're doing now with uranium ore down up in Oregon. They're stealing the people's uranium ore, giving it to Russia. So I just want to let you know the Clinton Foundation is very corrupt. I just want to let you know. I just want to let you know. Miriam, if you want to talk on anything else, I would please ask you to, to hold comment for later. You're at five minutes total comment. Okay, I will. I just want to say that <laughs> LaBonge okay. has been in there for a long time. I'm speaking now on LaBonge. And these council people think they can walk all places. We're up to the ethics commission. Where are they? Why isn't we We're trying to bring them in. enforcing the law uh, that, we, that we passed? All right. All right, fine. Okay. All right. All right I, call for, I call for the vote. Yeah. Second. Uh, I call for the vote. I second. Okay. Let's so uh, the motion on the floor is to adopt 8I, 8J, and 8K. Do I have a second? You second it. Second. Second. With that, I call, for, I call for the vote. I'll move. I second. <laughs> uh, oh, man. <laughs> okay. Mr. Thomas. Yes. Mr. Benjamin. Yes. I. Ms. Raines. Yes. Mr. Ackerman. Yes. 
Mr. Nunn? Yes. Mr. Camara? Yes. Mr. De La Cuesta? Yes. Mr. Friedman? Yes. Ms. Lavard? I abstain because I don't have that page in my agenda. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> you want to read it real quick? Okay. No. no. Okay, sorry. She's abstained. Um, that's fine. Mr. Hendry? Aye. Mr. Lynn? Yes. <coughs> Ms. Meyer? Yes. Mr. Knoll? Yes. And Mr. Robbins? Yes. Thank you. Passes. All right. Um, up next, we have 8L. <laughs> the families. Jason, why don't you go ahead and read this? Um, 8L? Yes. Here, let me, let me borrow. I'm not going to be able to get through that. Oh, the All right. <clears throat> I love this. 8L. All right, can we please stop giggling for a second here? Eight out. The Van Nuys Neighborhood Council supports Assembly Bill 1561 Garcia to eliminate taxation on tampons and sanitary napkins. The Van Nuys Neighborhood Council to draft a letter of support and request that all state representatives, certain constituents of Van Nuys, co sponsor and advocate for the passing of AB 1561. The VNNC does not believe that women should be taxed for involuntary functions of their biology. Here, here. Right on. Is so there any discussion on this? You have to let, you have to let it soak in. Yeah. Okay. All right. No. Okay. I move. I move that we uh, that we accept the language as written. I uh, I second the motion made by Councilmember Anand. Can I uh, call for the vote, please? More time to absorb this. Hey, you're lucky I didn't speak up this time. <laughs> Most of us here don't have that problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> she just Most of us don't. I mean, you know, except for maybe Stacy. Too oh, much information. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Mr. Thomas. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Benjamin. Yes. And of course, the men don't. Myself, I guess so. <laughs> Ms. Rains. Yes. Mr. Ackerman. Hell yes. If you proposed it, I'm sure you're going to say yes. Mr. Nunn. Aye. <laughs> Mr. Camara. Yes. Mr. Uh, De La Cuesta. Sure enough. Mr. Friedman. Yes. Oh my God. Don't ever say we don't do something funny. Okay. <laughs> this is serious. Uh, yeah. No, it is serious. Mr. Hendry. Yes. Mr. Lynn. Yes. For some people. Ms. Meyer. Yes. Mr. Knoll. Yes. And Mr. Robbins. Yes. Okay. I swear to God, I want, I want, I want to, why did I run? <laughs> All right. Uh, next up, this also came to us from uh, Councilmember Ackerman, 8M. Uh, Jason, can you please uh, brief us on this, please? All right. May I call my brother from it? All right. So, back by popular demand. The Van Nuys Neighborhood Council will pay the Los Angeles Office of Information Technology Services and any other necessary department to restore video conferencing to Van Nuys City Hall for the purpose of commenting on a Los Angeles City Council general meetings. The Van Nuys Neighborhood Council understands the negative impact of, on civic participation geography poses for stakeholders in the San Fernando Valley when seeking to make their voices heard by City Council and sees this service as a necessary investment to achieve the goals of all neighborhood councils of connecting the st stakeholders to the City Hall. Therefore, the Van Nuys Neighborhood Council will pay up to $15,000 to the City of L Los Angeles for the purpose of restoring video conferencing to Van Nuys City Hall and advertising the availability of the aforementioned services for the 2016 through 2017 fiscal year. Now, uh, if I can make, give you a little bit of background on this. Um, when we last got a quote from City Hall as to how much it would cost to bring back the service we, to Van Nuys City Hall, they said $11,000. And they keep telling us it's, they can't bring it back because of fiscal concerns. So I'm going to tell, so we're going to put up the money right now and, and we're going to budget $4,000 extra just in case of inflation, which we're going to put towards marketing if it's not inflated. And we will solicit and prod our fellow neighborhood councils throughout the valley to come co-sponsor this with us. But just to get the ball rolling, like we have not to exceed with certain other events, this is not to exceed $15,000. Any discussion? Um, yep. Yep. All right. So, uh, who wants to start? <coughs> You're for it, right? Okay. Let's go. Uh, Wayne from Encino. You want to have a crack at it? Do you have any animal sounds for us on this one? <laughs> Whoa. 
Well, yeah, you mean for Paul Corian, yeah, that's right. Well, you know who's against it, and they don't want to hear from the Valley, because they had speakers that started to use the system. Now, when nobody used it, they funded it. Now, when people started coming from the Valley, raising issues, they cut it off. So you just simply go into Van Nuys, you pick up the phone, and you put your cards in, and then video conferencing. They have it in Lancaster for the county board meetings in the Lancaster Library. And people use it up there, not all the time, but, but most of the time you get one or two, three speakers. But it's a good system to have it. Nuri Thank Martinez you. keeps talking to these ladies and keeps saying, I want to fund it, I want to support it. So what he's trying to do is just put the seed money in to get it going and put it back on and then get it permanently funded. Yes. So I support it. It's a good thing. And also, now, the only bad part for some of you is that, you know, if they do pass it, Krokorian and uh, a couple of other people will probably quit the council. But that will be good. So vote yes for it, and let's get it back up, and let's let the Valley start speaking because of traffic. You just can't make those meetings at 10 o'clock in the morning. It's impossible. Thank you. Metro. Uh, I am free gap because I'm strongly for the uh, video conferencing, especially for people like Miriam who can't get down all the way to the downtown. And so, of course, I'm not sure exactly we should be spending all 15, but maybe right now we can spend the 15 and try to get the other uh, councils interested uh, to so that we won't have to do this constantly because uh, people do come from other areas in the valley and should be able to uh, put it in there and maybe we can find the next time some cheaper way so it won't keep on costing so right now I guess you can pay this and I'd be really uh, grateful uh, for because I love to be able to speak back in Van Nuys again and not take two hours to go to downtown and two and a half hours coming back <coughs> thank you how, how many people use this video Two. Oh, we got quite a few people. I can get a lot of people back. I used to use it. I know about two, three more people I can get back here. I'm sure that we can advertise it. Listen, Channel 35 can advertise it. Channel 35 can advertise it that you're putting it on with your logo. Van Nuys Neighbor Council is. We need to put your logo on Channel 35. What a way to get you advertised. Isn't that great to put the logo of the Vantage Net? Would you think, Jeanette? And number two, we can get the cost cut because we can get new cameras. And they, when they had the the price for fifteen thousand, it was, you know, the, the old cameras. Now we can put the state of the art cameras in. It's going to be a lot cheaper. Mm. So and you know and uh -oh. we could do we could do uh, Skype. We could do all kinds of things. We could know, to really cut the cost down. So folks, this is just the start, and let's get around to all the neighbor councils and get this, let's have a uh, get together. Maybe we'll have a committee, ad hoc or something, and let's be creative how we can save money on the video conferencing. We can then that way, we can innovate this thing and make it really ingenious thing to get it really on the ball for everybody to participate, not just you guys. Thank you for the start, but let's get this on the, get it on the roll. And I'm willing to help. Whatever it takes. Thank you. Two bucks. Thank you, Miriam. I have a question. Uh, um, Mr. President, one of the things that I like about these two ladies is they've been pushing this for a long time. We have over close to two million people in the San Fernando Valley. And what do they make us do? They make us track all the way down there. Now, they come out here every other month. And if you've ever seen one of those meetings, there's very few attendants. I mean, there's very little. The council person will bring in a, you know, a few people. It's a dog and pony show. And they're out by 11, 30, 12 o'clock. <coughs> the video conferencing, when you have an issue and you want to speak on it, it's something that really affects the, Van I, uh, the, the, excuse me, the San Fernando community. We would be able to do that. Take the leadership on this. Van, I, 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 you know, I don't sit here because I want to annoy you. I sit here because I see the potential. I know you think I'm here to annoy you, but I see the potential. I see the people that really love Van Nuys, who really do things for Van Nuys, and that's what I look for. And this is a this is a good example of Van Nuys, Mr. President, taking the leadership on this. It's a small thing to do, but it's a big, it's not George. A big thing. George, Paul Anand, and then a Lavender shirt in the back. Um, so, I was just going to say that you know. Maybe it's one of those things where you can say that it doesn't get used 
constantly by a lot of people. But what happens is when there's really important issues where a lot of people go to downtown, you get locked out of the room. The room gets filled, mm -hmm. you cannot get in, you cannot get a chance to speak. There's tons of issues that come up like that, whether it, you know, where, where it was minimum wage or whatever it is, where a lot of people want to talk Fracking. about it. Frack, you know, there's a lot of issues where if there was an opportunity here, that would do, be twofold. One, when those, uh, those meetings do occur, that would be a boon to us because a lot of people would come to Van Nuys and that would help promote Van Nuys. And two, that would be a, a way for us to mitigate some of the issues that we have with uh, council chambers downtown. Fair enough. Uh, lavender shirt, then Jeanette Hopp. <laughs> Excuse me, he's speaking. Jeanette okay, Hopp. I have a question, but I'm going to make a comment before I ask that question of Mr. Howard Benjamin. But I first would like to say that I'm for it, but that's an awful lot of money. That's almost half of, is half of, in fact, a little more than half of what we have left. And with all the issues we just funded, we'd have no money left at all to continue for the rest of the, the year. And we have to go through the end of June. Um, Mr. Benjamin, <coughs> you're not a yes. I knew that. And I haven't even seen the latest statement because you changed the password and I couldn't no, get it. it on me. Oh, did they? Oh, those turkeys. Anyway, Mr. Benjamin, can you, because you are the expert in this area, tell us what the state-of-the-art new cameras would cost? Because I don't think they'd be cheaper. It's, it's not just cameras. It's also to pay for people from ITS to run this technology and the cameras and supervise it, That's which is expensive. Back. But at least we don't have to pay for security like Sam Payne.